Today is a very special day. We've linked up with Mandalau Elephant Conservation. secret that elephant tourism is huge in Southeast Asia. Unfortunately though, a lot of the times it's for the wrong reasons. These so-called sanctuaries will have their elephants hooked up to chains, they'll prod them to make them do tricks, and they'll even let tourists ride them. And that's exactly why we chose Manilao, because they don't do any of that. This is the true essence of an elephant sanctuary, and it's got a pretty cool story. out here about seven years ago as a tourist and immediately fell in love with Laos. So my name's Michael Vogler. I'm the founder of Mandalau Elephant Conservation here in Luang Prabang, Laos. About seven years ago and went over to see one of the other so-called elephant sanctuaries here and basically just saw elephants on short one meter chains with whole families on their backs and it kind of stuck out as pretty disingenuous and not a good place for elephants. So came back with the intention of rescuing some elephants from the logging camps here and doing a non-riding program focused on education and elephant welfare. Once you get here, they sit you down and kind of go over the history of Mandalau. My name is Tan, okay. Mandalau, we've just been here uh, since 2016. We promote no riding, but no riding is just our study point. What we go deeper. Lao is the land of million elephants, but unfortunately, you know, in 1980, we have only 3,000 elephants left, and in 2009, we have 1,200, and now we have lower than 1,000. The reason that we are here today is because we want to do something to stop the declination of the elephant in Lao. We have nine elephants total, eight adult females and one little baby boy. Altogether, we've got about 200 hectares of land and it comes primarily from the local village here. We rent from about 25 different families. And then we also have a concession from the government, which we walk the elephants on every day. So a conglomeration of different lands. After that, you get strapped up with some water boots and some life jackets. We're headed across the river to go on a walk with the elephants, and I couldn't be more excited. You're not just come alone, you come with a beautiful banana. Mm -hmm. So one day they eat about 200 kilograms per day. 200 kilograms per day, a lot. And they eat about 60% of the main food from the jungle, from the, from the forest over there. And we provide 40% uh, of supplement food that we bought from you know local people and uh, we feed them every morning 40% over there. Elephant, they also look like have like a different uh, personality. While they do have nine elephants here, the two that we're going on our tour with are named Man and Ping. They don't have a sweat gland like us. When they get hot and heat, they can't sweat out. What else they do is to cool themselves with the mud, water. One of the great 
greatest aspects of the Mandalao tour is the exclusivity you get with the elephant. So they only take them out once a day and the groups are not big. They're very intimate sizes, anywhere between four and eight people at a time at most. Each elephant only does one tour a day. It really has the rest of the day to kind of just be free and do free elephant things. And be an elephant, which is critical if it's going to be released out into the wild. a connection with each elephant it's an amazing experience the speed of the tour is entirely dependent on the animal so if the elephant's going fast you're gonna go fast if it goes slow you go slow if it stops you stop and feed it <laughs> A lot of the elephant tours that you'll do around here, uh, the not so great ones, they just schedule the elephant to do bareback riding in like 30 minute intervals. So They're the animal, makers. yeah, the animal never really has a chance to be an animal. And here, because you can't ride and because there's no tricks, it truly just roams around and does what an elephant naturally would. Which is also another critical piece because for the preservation of the animal, you have to have reproduction. And if the animal is in a stressed out environment, it's not gonna reproduce. Not to mention, the whole pregnancy and nursing of an elephant can take up to three years. And in those three years, if you can't ride the elephant or if you can't make money off of it, a lot of these companies aren't willing to put up that time and risk losing all that money. So that's exactly why Mandalao Camp is essential for the preservation of the species. through the jungle with the elephants, you're brought back to the other side of the river where lunch is served. When you come here, you really, really help and support a lot. Elephant riding has been very popular in Southeast Asia for almost three decades now. What a lot of people don't know is the pain and suffering that it actually causes the animals. Beyond the training that's involved, which can be pretty cruel and painful for the animals, the stress they have just from having someone sitting on their neck and their mahouts, their caretakers, being constantly worried that something's going to happen, it's a really negative environment for elephants. So we like to bring out guests and show them that there can actually be a positive side to elephant tourism um, while giving these animals the best life possible. So, you know, we think you get a lot more out of looking into their eyes than you do at staring at the back of their head. So we have some really happy elephants, we have some really happy people, and we're hoping that this model, if successful, will spread and more camps will start treating their elephants in a proper way. up for the half day therapeutic trek which includes a walk through the jungle with the elephants and lunch. If you're also interested in other options, Mandalao does offer full day packages and they have private tours too. We'll put their link in below so you can check it out. A little bit of te technical difficulty. Ping, you've got a big old ass girl. Slow moving, but they'll run you over if they need to. 